once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This is brand new news, hot off the press. I wanted to do this quick video today. It's unedited. I just wanted to get this news to you so everybody found out uh, because I got a busy day ahead. I can't really edit this, but I want to get this information to you. It's very important. The Halo multiplayer mayhem set, our Halo Mega Fan Vote 2023, is extending its pre-order window for another two weeks. Originally, the pre-orders were only available for two weeks, and the actual deadline was yesterday yesterday so that meant after that no one could order it and then it's going to ship next year but mega i think they listen to the fans here like there's obviously a lot of reasons that they could have extended this deadline i want to look at the positive take that they quite clearly saw on some of the socials that people were complaining that two weeks was not long enough for them to be able to order it so i'm pretty happy to see that mega have extended this naturally and provided people with a larger window for pre-orders because that's important right if you've got a set that's clearly uh, going to be very limited going to be very rare and going to be very expensive in the future you gotta let people uh gather the funds together right like we did have a lot of warning uh, when this pre-order was going to go up. We were told it was, you know, mid to end of March. And we were told that way back in February when we were voting on the different elements of this set. We basically, we were voting on things all through February. We knew the pre-order was going to go up in March and we knew it was only going to be a two week window. Still... Uh, some people didn't have the funds together and they said that quite clearly. Oh, I, I need longer to uh, wait for payday or something like that. So another two weeks just gives people more time, just gives people more options to get this amazing set because you don't want to miss out on this thing. Like I'm telling you, uh, people have been speculating, you know, they were speculating for a while what the price tag would be. We found out that it was 65 US, maybe 65 pounds, uh, a little bit more in Canadian. But honestly, for two really highly detailed and painted vehicles, then eight very highly detailed and painted uh, characters. Like, the paint apps on those Spartans, uh, they're hero... Halo Hero level, I'm getting my words together. They are Halo Hero level paint apps on those Spartans. There are eight of them, including three new helmets, the Firefall, the Stormfall, and the Cat Ears, a new chest, the Cinder Shot, and the Heat Wave, and all 12 of the weapons are painted. It's a done deal. It's such, like, I think $65 is actually a pretty good price point, especially when you consider that this is an exclusive drop. Like, usually with toy, and again, I'm not a toy producer, but if you're a toy company and you're producing on absolute mass like tens hundreds of thousands of volumes of a product you can reduce the price because you can get that price down by mass quantity like it, it's uh, i think again i don't know but it's pretty much like the, the the number of pieces you produce just means you can uh cut down costs on other things right but having a limited room and a premium product, it does mean that uh, the price has to be a premium price, and I think six, I think sixty-five is pretty reasonable. I, I really, really do, and I, I will, I will die on that hill. But uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. So uh, sixty-five dollars is the price, and you can pre-order for two more weeks now. So the original deadline, it was two weeks, and it should have ended yesterday. But Mega announced on their Instagram that they're going to extend it. They said we're extending pre-orders an extra two weeks to give more fans a chance to order. If you haven't bought yours yet, there's still time. Go and buy this set. Go go beg your family for some spare dimes and go get this set. Uh, yes, you have to pay up front, but you can pay in installments over time. And you are pre-ordering it for release, it says, on or before April 1st. And I think it will be before. I think they're just giving themselves a large buffer window because they couldn't quite meet the deadline for the Phantom pre-order. So they're giving themselves even more time and I think it'll be earlier. But again, I don't quite know yet. If you want to keep up to date on your Mega Constructs news, check out Mega Constructs news on Instagram and Twitter. They're a great source. And yeah, they shared this. That's the first I saw of it. And honestly, I'm fine with the pre-order. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly fine with it. And we know that on Mattel Creations, very soon, the Falcon Sweep is returning. Uh, Jan said in a Ask Me Anything on Instagram recently that it's going to be in the third quarter of the year. So it's going to be quite soon, the next three, four, five months. Uh, that's actually a big window. I don't know when it'll be, but the Falcon Sweep is going to come back to Mattel Creations, or at least going to come back into circulation on Mattel Creations, original Mega Constructs packaging, and I think it'll be retail, and it's actually going to be an incredible opportunity to get that set. So, 
I saw a lot of people debating, should I afford or should I wait to buy the Falcon instead of the Multiplayer Mayhem? I would suggest both if you can, considering the Falcon might not come out for a few more months, quite a bit more months if it's quarter three, and the uh, Multiplayer Mayhem is right now and then never again. And when you find with these like limited run sets, um, the n most recent example is the San Diego Comic-Con Master Chief Collection set. They're worth a fortune now. Uh, the Arbiter, Chief, and Lock SD SDCC from like 2015, worth a fortune. I mean, I'm not saying that's gonna exactly happen with this one, it's not named characters, but it is eight really nice multiplayer Spartans. I would be shocked. Like, I would be so, so shocked if these ever drop below $65 on um, eBay or M Macari or anything. Well, Macari, sometimes you can get really good deals there, but... I would be very surprised if uh, you ever, say if you bought three multiplayer mayhems, I would be really shocked if you ever had to sell one for less than 65, because they're going to immediately be a collectible. Remember, there's a big difference between collectibles and reselling collectibles and scalping. Scalping is selling something or buying everything up to then just sell it for an inflated price. Um, and usually you see that with things like Halo Heroes. This is not scalping because if you buy five or six of these multiplayer mayhem sets, A, when they originally, re when they eventually release, they'll be out of production. So it's not like you're just buying all the stock and reselling it immediately. And B, um, it's literally Mega and Mattel are making uh, orders based on how many they receive. So it's not like there's a limited amount of these. The limited amount is only as limited as how many people purchase them. So I'm looking forward to hearing how many you're buying in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick little ramble. Remember that the Falcon Sweep is returning on Mattel Creations later this year. And Yan, I think, is very open to ideas about stocking other products in the future. I've made it public before. I want to see the entire Halo Mega catalog on Mattel Creations one day. It directly combats uh, distribution issues. It directly combats people going into a store and buying all of one Halo hero, like the lights of Sanghelios, it combats so much and the worldwide shipping rates are super reasonable they're usually flat rates i think and, and i will bring this to yan in the future that i think if you order a certain amount say like five or more you should get free shipping but i mean that's a conversation for another day but i'm hearing all your feedback i'm reading all the comments i read every comment literally everyone from all social medias so get in touch with me let me know what you think and suggest what you would like to see from both my channel and mattel creations in the future thanks very much for tuning in today this was another video with the domain you stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Go buy Multiplayer Mayhem, go support Mattel. Like, seriously, this is a, like, pivotal moment in the production of Halo Mega. We've had Halo Mega constructs, Halo Mega block sets for 15 years, and we want to support them. We want to put our money where our mouth is, and we want to say, we want you to continue making these products because we support you. So go support your local Mega Constructs retailer. <laughs> no, go buy Multiplayer Mayhem. Uh, it's going to be an exceptional set. I'm really excited about it. Domain, signing off.